Hi everyone, this is Arvind from Mind Magics, and today I welcome you all to this session on how to crack SCCM interview in first attempt. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at the agenda for today's session. So guys, as you can see on the screen, these are the topics that we are going to cover in this particular video. Okay, so firstly, we'll start with what exactly is SCCM. It will be just a short introduction. Then we will have a look at why you should learn SCCM. Okay, after that, we will discuss what are the various career paths or career trajectories that you can have with SCCM. After that, we will discuss the skills and certifications that are available for SCCM. Okay, and the last but not the least, we will discuss what are the various steps that you must follow to land a very good SCCM job in your dream company. Okay, so these are the pointers that we're going to cover. I hope everyone is clear with this agenda. So the first point of this session is what is SCCM? Okay, so since you're watching this video, like how to crack SCCM interview in the first attempt, you guys must be very well aware of what exactly is SCCM. Okay, but for those who don't know, let's quickly have a look at the definition. So SCCM or System Center Configuration Manager is a software management group that is developed and designed by the IT giant company called Microsoft. And this product allows the user to manage the computer systems that run on Windows, Linux, Mac operating systems. SCCM is also known as Config Manager. Okay, and now if you talk about the features of SCCM, there are various features that this product has to offer us such as desired configuration management, asset tracking, deployment of the operating systems, reporting, software deployment or product deployment, remote control and patch management. Okay, so this was a quick overview of what exactly is SCCM. And now the next important question is why at all you should learn SCCM? So in India, there are a lot of engineering graduates who graduate every year. Okay, and this number is quite high. Okay, so now if you want to pick a skill which is easy to learn and it has a lot of demand in the market, so I would recommend you to start with SCCM. Okay, and now why do I say that? I say that because, you know, there's a lot of openings of SCCM in the employment portals if you search. Okay. And companies these days are also ready to pay good amount of salaries to the skilled people or skilled folks who have, you know, done proper training and they have good amount of hands-on knowledge in SCCM. If you talk about the future prospects, so definitely it's a very in-demand skill and that has a lot of scope in the future as well. Okay. And now if you come to the salary part of SCCM professionals. Okay. So in India, the starting salary of SCCM candidate is roughly 4 lakhs per annum. So if you have experience of 4 to 5 years, so then your salary can range up to 8 to 10 lakhs per annum. Okay. So that purely depends on the experience that you have. Okay. So if you talk about the US, so in US, you can earn the salary up to $50,000 per annum. Okay. But still, if you are very good, like if you have great knowledge and great hands-on experience so you can also earn up to seventy thousand dollars per annum in the us okay so this was all about why you should learn sccm so if you talk about the various career paths of sccm so as you can see on the screen these are the various career paths like sccm administrator sccm senior admin sccm engineer intune engineer or endpoint engineer then you have sccm lead and then you have SCCM expert. So you can start your SCCM journey as an admin. After maybe two to three years of experience, what you can do is you can get promoted to SCCM senior admin, like having three years of experience. After that, what you can do is like, you can gain more experience as senior admin and then you can get promoted to SCCM engineer. Okay, after that, there are also various designations such as Intune Engineer and Endpoint Engineer. So these are the, you know, various titles you can say that you have based on the same SCCM skills. Okay. And after four to five years of experience or maybe six years of experience, what you can do is you can get promoted to SCCM lead. So these particular job titles, SCCM lead are in demand these days. 
And after gaining significant experience as SCCM lead, what you can do is you can get promoted to SCCM expert. Okay, so SCCM expert is someone who has roughly 10, 8 to 10 years of experience in the field of SCCM. So these are some of the SCCM career paths. Let's come to the very important point of this session, which is what are the skills that you must have as an SCCM professional? So now I've categorized the skills into general skills and technical or specialized skills. Okay, so if you talk about general skills, so the first point over here is problem solving skills. Okay, so guys, be it any profession, like not only IT, any profession, problem solving skill is a very important skill that you must have. Okay, so you must be able to solve the problems that you have. Okay, so solving problems has various different approaches. So one such approach is like breaking problems into smaller steps and then solving those individual steps and then combining the result to solve a bigger problem. Okay, so that is one such approach to solve any particular problem. After that, the next point is technical aptitude. Okay, so how easily and how quickly are you able to learn new technical things that are related to your particular field? Okay, so if you talk about SCCM, so how well are you able to grasp the technical concepts which are related to SCCM? So that is the meaning of technical aptitude. Okay, the next point is attention to details. Okay, so this is a very important point, like how quickly are you able to, you know, catch the minute details or minor details of any particular problem or the solution or the scenario that you have in front of you. Okay, so the next point is a very important point, communication skills. Okay, so guys, communication skill is a very important skill to have. Okay, so even if you have good amount of knowledge, but if you're not able to deliver or communicate your knowledge to your colleagues or to your managers and the higher management, so then there is no use of having such knowledge. Okay, so having knowledge is important, but it is even more important to communicate that knowledge. Okay, so that is why it is important to have good communication skills and constant desire to learn is another skill that you must have. Okay, so guys, you must be knowing that IT is a dynamic field. Okay, so there are a lot of changes that take place in the IT industry, like within few months or few years. Okay, so you must be thoroughly updated with the current trends or the latest updates in your particular field. Okay, and this will help you stay ahead in your field or, you know, this will create a very good impression on your peers and colleagues and also your managers that you are having good amount of technical knowledge, like the latest knowledge related to your particular field. Okay, and then the last point over here is critical thinking. Okay, so whenever you have a problem at hand and you want to solve that problem, so critical thinking means how you approach that problem. Okay, so nobody expects you to, you know, get the answer to that particular problem in like a few minutes or few hours. Okay, so you might take time to solve that particular problem, but the focus here is on the thinking or your approach on how to solve that problem. What steps do you follow? Okay, and how deep your thinking is with that particular problem. Okay, so this was all about critical thinking. Okay, and now let us come to the technical skills over here. The first point is SCCM. Okay, so if you talk about this point, so here as an SCCM professional, you should be able to install application, track a network's inventory and deploy security patches and updates across a network. Okay, so here SCCM aims to help businesses manage many devices and computers that are running on different operating systems. Okay, so this was all about SCCM. And now if you talk about the second scale, which is Active Directory. So Active Directory is a technology developed by Microsoft that is used to manage computers on other places or remote locations. So most of the Windows Server OS have an Active Directory. So Active Directory helps in organizing computer users or the company users. So mainly the IT department is responsible for managing the Active Directory as it helps the, in organizing the company's hierarchy, 
which computers use, which networks to use, and which users have access to the storage rooms. Okay. The next point over here is the PowerShell. Okay. So if you talk about the use of PowerShell, so you should be able to utilize PowerShell and using PowerShell, you must be able to automate the administration tasks. Okay. Apart from this, you must also be able to use the scripting in classroom environment of PowerShell. Apart from this, there is packaging and modifying the application installations for deployment using the Flexera Admin Studio, Install Shield, PowerShell Scripting, and System Center Configuration Manager. Okay, the next point over here is the security patches. Okay, so what is the use of security patches or why you must have this particular skill? So you must understand how security patches is used in SCCM resumes. So here, what you can do is you can develop and document new processes for the deployment of Microsoft security patches via SCCM and implement system security patches and version upgrades and troubleshoot the problems and identify and mitigate potential issues and changes and modifications. Apart from this, you must also be able to apply security patches to servers based on vulnerabilities identified by the information assurance. Okay, and there's one more point over here is like if you're a trained SCCM professional, so you must be able to deploy operating system patches to secure all of the infrastructure processors. Okay, apart from that, the next skill is SQL. Okay, so guys, SQL is a very important skill, be it any IT field, like if you're a developer, if you're a tester, if you're an admin, a data scientist, a DevOps professional, no matter what skill or what your job role is, SQL is a very important skill to have. Okay, so all of the, I repeat, so everyone you must be knowing there are various, you know, SQL databases such as MySQL, Postgres, Oracle, Microsoft SQL. Okay, so using SQL, you can, you know, handle databases. Okay, so you can use queries to fetch data from the server. Okay, and you can also use SQL queries to update the data in the database servers. Okay, and the last point over here is the OS. Okay, so as an CCM professional, you must be aware of various operating systems, like not only theoretical knowledge, but hands-on experience as well with Windows operating system, Linux operating system, Mac OS, and so on. Okay, so the next point is, what are the various certifications that are available for SCCM? Okay, so guys, as you can see on the screen, these are the various certifications. Like there are basically two certifications related to SCCM. The first one is administering Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager and Cloud Services Integration. And the code for this certification is 70703. Okay, so if you talk about this particular certification, so this certification exam is intended to test your technical skills in accomplishing the tasks and each of these topics carries a relative weightage percentage mentioning how important the topic is for the actual examination. So it is obvious that the higher the weightage percentage, the more questions would be asked on those particular topics. Okay, and if you talk about the topics that are asked in this examination, so there will be questions around the topics such as configuring and maintaining a configuration management IP. So there will be questions related to topics such as configure and maintain a configuration manager management infrastructure and then manage inventory by using configuration manager. Apart from this, manage applications by using configuration manager, then deploy and maintain OS by using configuration manager, extend the management scope of configuration manager and last but not the least, deploy and manage hybrid MDM by using the configuration manager and Intune. Okay, so these are some of the topics that are asked in this exam. And if you talk about the second certification, which is administering and deploying system center configuration manager, and the code for this exam is 70243. So this certification tests your skills in accomplishing technical tasks on SCCM as an admin. Okay, and now if you talk about the topics that are asked in this exam, 
So here you have to design and plan system center configuration management infrastructure. Then you have to manage the OS deployment and then deploy applications and software updates, manage compliance settings, manage sites, manage clients, manage inventories and manage reports and queries. OK, so there will be questions around these topics in this particular exam. OK, so this was all about the certifications which are available for SCCM. The last part of this session and a very crucial part of this session is what are the steps that you must follow to land a dream job related to SCCM in your dream company? OK, so the first point over here is exploring the various resources and the education related to SCCM. OK, so guys, there are various resources which are available on YouTube related to SCCM. So you must go through these resources and you must get proper education related to SCCM. OK. The next one is developing the skills and right attitude towards landing an SCCM job. OK, so we have already discussed what are the skills that you must have. OK, and it is equally important to have right attitude in developing those particular skills. OK, the next one is trainings and internships. OK, so guys, if you're someone who's, you know, used to get trainings, like if you're someone who you know, follows that particular approach. Like if you want instructor led training to develop your skills. So there are many trainings that are available online and offline. Related to SCCM, so you can go for those trainings. And after that, what you can do is you can try for internships. OK, so guys, internship is a very good way of. You know, developing the skills and gaining hands on experience related to SCCM. OK, so this was the third step. After that. When you go for training and internships there, you must try to understand what are the day to day activities and roles and responsibilities of an SCCM engineer or SCCM admin. OK, so. The hands on experience will help you understand the roles and responsibilities that you will be following when you actually go into your dream company. OK. The fifth step is preparing your resume. OK, so resume is a very important. Tool that will help you, you know, get shortlisted from your dream companies. So you must use. A particular set of keywords related to SCCM. You must highlight. The projects that you have done. The skills that you have. OK, and you must also mention. The educational qualifications and any certifications that you have done related to SCCM. OK, so this way your resume will immediately catch the attention of the potential recruiters. OK, and once your resume is prepared. What you can do is you can apply for SCCM jobs on various employment portals. Employment portals, you all know which portals to follow. You can apply for SCCM jobs on LinkedIn as well. OK, so once you apply for jobs and once you get shortlisted, so Depending upon your attitude and skills and your performance in the interview. So. This particular path will help you crack your dream job. OK, so these are the steps that you must follow in landing an SCCM job. OK, so guys, I hope you have understood whatever points that we have discussed here. OK, so guys with this, we have come to the end of the session on how to crack SCCM interview in first attempt. So if you have any doubts related to this session, then you can write them in the comments section and my team is here to help you with all your doubts and queries. So guys, I wish you all the best for your upcoming journey and thank you so much for being with us.